All right guys, today we're gonna to be making these delicious vegetable hakka noodles. So these are thin and flat noodles that are usually spicy and savory mixed together with your favorite veggies. But before we get started guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment what recipes you wanna see next. To start off, I've taken a large pot of water, brought it to a boil, then turned off the heat. I'm gonna be adding about 454 grams of hakka noodles in this water and then letting it sit in there for only a few minutes because the noodles are already pre-cooked and they just need to be heated up, not boiled. We don't also boil these because we will be cooking them once again with our sauce and vegetables. I always get asked, where do I find these noodles? I basically find them in any local Indian or Chinese grocery store and most of them do carry it. So simply guys, just take a pair of tongs and stir them around and then after one minute, leave the noodles in the water and set it aside so that we can get started on our base. So here I'm using a large wok that I've preheated over medium heat and I'm going to be adding 3 to 4 tablespoons of sesame oil, 3 garlic cloves that I finely chopped, as well as 1 inch of ginger that I finely chopped. We're going to let this cook for a couple of minutes and then we're going to be adding the rest of our veggies in it. So now that our ginger and garlic are finally cooked, here we're gonna be adding half a white onion. Mix it all together and wait until the onions have become soft so that we can start adding the rest of our vegetables. So for our vegetables, here I'm gonna be using one large carrot, half a green pepper, and one full broccoli. Chop them up into thin slices because these will be mixing in with our noodles. Let's add these into the wok and stir it all together. Now guys, don't let your veggies cook for too long. Only a couple minutes should be fine. And the reason is because if you recall back to a time you've tried vegetable hakka noodles, the veggies are always crunchy while the noodles are always soft. And this makes a big difference in taste because the dish will taste more fresh and overall satisfying. Now we're gonna be adding about one fourth of a cabbage that I've chopped into shreds here. Just go ahead and mix it all together because after this, we're gonna be adding our spices. So here I'm gonna be adding some salt. You could add it according to your taste. Two teaspoons of black pepper and one teaspoon of chili pepper flakes. We're gonna stir this all together until it's nicely mixed up and then we're gonna be adding the hakka noodles that we made earlier. After a couple of minutes, bring down the heat to low and then start adding your noodles. So here I'm using my tongs once again to gently place them on top of the veggies. Now I'm using a large wok. So if you're using the same thing, you should be able to fit them in all at once. Now we're just gonna keep adding our noodles. And then after that, here I'm gonna be adding a mixture of three tablespoons of soya sauce and three tablespoons of water. On top of that, we're going to be adding approximately two to three teaspoons of chili sauce. Then once again, use your tongs and mix it all together. Here's when we start bringing the veggies from the bottom into the noodles. After a few minutes, guys, turn off the heat and your vegetable hakka noodles are ready to be served. As you can see guys, they're looking so delicious. The noodles are cooked but yet firm and the veggies are still crunchy and the overall flavor profile is savory and spicy. Pair this up with some chili chicken or Manchurian and you've basically brought the Hakka experience to your kitchen at home. Hope you guys all try out this recipe. Don't forget to subscribe and follow on all of my social media channels to stay up to date so you don't miss a video. Until then, I'll see you guys soon.